Hello to Guzmac here and today I'm going to talk about the Guzenberg Sweeper in GTA 5 and GTA Online. Now this is an episode in my series called GTA 5 Gun Guide where we will be going through all the weapons in GTA 5 and GTA Online, breaking down stats of these weapons, talking about these weapons, just getting general reviews of these weapons. So the Guzenberg Sweeper is a weapon featured in the Valentine's Day Massacre Special content pack for GTA 5 and GTA Online. It is based off of the M1928A1 Thompson and the stock is derived from the later M1 Thompson. Now the only the only way that you could unlock this weapon is if you bought it in February last year. So whenever the Valentine's Day Massacre Special came out, you could only buy it in that certain time frame that they gave you to actually purchase the weapon, uh, same with the Roosevelt and the clothing and all that. So you could only buy this weapon if you bought it during that time. So if you didn't play during that time or if you didn't buy the weapon during that time, then you will not be able to get this weapon. But if you did buy the weapon during that time, you will have this weapon and you can still use it in your inventory and it will still be in ammunition where you can go customize it. So the weapon deals 34 damage per shot up until 30 meters. And in the max distance on this weapon is 120 meters. So you will be dealing 34 damage up until 30 meters, which is actually quite low for the fully automatic weapons in the game. So for all of the assault rifles and the MGs, they have their damage drop off at 47.5 meters. And even the micro SMG and the SMG don't have their damage drop off start until 40 meters. So 30 meters for this weapon isn't all that great, but since you are dealing with 34 damage per shot, if you're shooting at another player in online, it will take from seven shots to 10 shots to kill them. So if the person that you're shooting at is below rank 20, it will take seven shots. If they're from rank 20 to 39, it will take eight shots. If they're from rank 40 to 79, it will take nine shots. And if they're above rank 80, it will take 10 shots to kill them. Now it's worse than the MG and the combat MG because of the recent buff to them, but it's pretty average for weapons like the assault rifles and the advanced rifle. So the weapon fires at 555 rounds per minute, it also holds 30 rounds in the magazine and 50 with extended mag. So this weapon overall is actually quite good and I do actually really like it. Now the attachments for this weapon are the extended clip and that's all you can put on the weapon. Now you can't place any optical attachments on this so you're kind of stuck with the iron sights. But to be honest the iron sights aren't all that bad. Now I think some people may not like these and for me whenever next gen GTA came out. I was like, okay, you know, these iron sights aren't all that great. They're a little bulky. But over time, I don't know what it is about them. They just seem better. I, I don't know what it is about them. Maybe it's from Battlefield Hardline. Since there's a Thompson in there, I've gotten used to the iron sights of a Thompson. Now, one problem with it is the firing pin. Now, uh, whenever you're firing, the firing pin will push back, which can be kind of a distraction. But if you get over that, then these iron sights can be used quite well. I mean, they're, they aren't the most open, but they are good enough, in my opinion, to where you can use them. The front sight on this weapon is very accurate, and it's very good. And even the rear sights aren't all that bad. So, the iron sights on this weapon aren't all that bad, but if you don't like those iron sights, then you're kind of stuck with them, unless you just hip fire the weapon, or you just play in third person now another problem with this weapon is you're always going to be hip firing if you're in third person and this is the same with the other mgs but the other mgs like the mg and the combat mg you can actually put a scope on the weapon to have them uh you know put the weapon up the shoulder level and start shooting from there with this weapon you're always going to be hip firing and that's kind of a problem for me because it just doesn't really look that great although a Thompson is a pretty heavy weapon, and it is how most mobsters use this weapon because of how heavy it was. So overall, this weapon isn't all that bad. It's kind of outclassed by the combat MG and even the MG for damage. Also, the spread on this weapon is 5.0, which is the same as the combat MG. But one cool thing about this weapon is that the recoil error time, which is the max amount of time that accuracy is affected by recoil, that is only 1.5 seconds. Now, for the MG and the Combat MG, and even the Assault Rifle, Carbine Rifle, Advanced Rifle, and Special Carbine, it's 3.0 seconds. Now, pretty much what this means for you is whenever you're firing this weapon, after 1.5 seconds, after your last shot that you fired, the, the spread, and you can see this with your crosshairs if you use complex, the spread will start decreasing, and the weapon will move back to center. And, you know, that is one good thing about this weapon. Sure, the spread is the same as the combat MG, but it's pretty much better 
at least for tap firing if, you, if that is what you want to do with this weapon because the recoil error time is half of what the combat mg and the mg have so the gusenberg sweeper is named after the contract killer frank gusenberg who was a victim of the saint valentine's day massacre and gusenberg along with six other people was killed by an m1928 a1 thompson now the sweeper element of the gun's name makes direct reference to the popular name for the thompson submachine gun the trench sweeper also another thing that's kind of weird with this weapon is if you don't have extended mags the gusenberg sweeper will always have a drum magazine also another thing about this weapon that i don't really understand or it's kind of more of a missed opportunity for rockstar and it's something i feel rockstar could have added to this weapon and could have made this weapon uh, just to make it a little bit better and if you've ever seen an m1928 thompson it's usually fitted at least uh, whenever used by a mobster, it's usually fitted with a grip. Now, that's kind of something weird with this weapon, uh, that it doesn't have a foregrip on it. Now, maybe that's just because they didn't want to actually, uh, you know, make a new design for the grip in the game. So if you want to go check out the stats on this weapon, there will be links in the description to some stats on this weapon and some information on this weapon. Also, if you want to go check out my previous video in this series, and which was on the Combat MG, then you can go check that out. There will be a link in the description. As well as there will also be a link in the description to a playlist of all the episodes in this series of GTA 5 Gun Guide. So if you have used this weapon in GTA 5 and GTA Online, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments. Hope you enjoyed your feedback as always. Well. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video.